So today I'm going to be fixing this crack on the back of our travel trailer. What happened here was um, I was at a gas station, pulled a little too close to one of those big concrete posts they use to protect the propane tanks and took too tight of a turn. It swung around and it grabbed it right here, bent it up. It's not too bad. Have a piece of this coming in the mail. Today we're just going to do the fiberglass so that it's all ready when this comes in. We want to cut it off here replace this bent section. I have this um, fiberglass porcelain and plastic repair kit. It does white and almond. I'm hoping it gets pretty close to uh, what I'm trying to repair here. The goal is to get it nice and smooth, like factory again, but if it looks like it stands out too much, I'll end up just taking a piece of like reflective red tape and putting it here and on the other side too, so it's symmetrical and somewhat covers it up, but all right, let's figure this out. So the first step is going to be before we have to do anything, we're going to take some goo gone and I peeled all this foil tape off here because I did this a couple months ago. We're just now repairing it, but uh, I had this foil tape on here to prevent any water intrusion damage. So the first thing we're going to do is get all this little sticky adhesive stuff off from the tape uh, with some goo gone. So, I'll get all this off and we'll pick up from there. All right, so that goo gone did a pretty good job cleaning all that up. Yeah. So the next step is we're gonna take all this apart here. As I said, we have a piece of metal coming in for this. So I just wanna make sure this crack is pushed in together as close as possible and you know fasten everything else up line everything else up because we did this on the fly in the gas station parking lot some gaps down there can definitely be done a little better we probably want to chop this off up here today so yeah. you just take out these rubber inserts or screws under there more screws under there and it all comes apart. So, get that started and pick up there. I'm going to loosen up the sour one too to give us a little more food in the flavors. We'll get a putty knife to pull that off. Back with a putty knife. I'm trying to remove this without causing any further damage to the fiberglass here, making our repairs any more difficult than they really need to be. So 
So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to get some of this adhesive off. Well, this isn't adhesive. This is like a water seal putty. Just going to clean this up a little bit. And then we're going to take a screw and fasten this down nice and tight before we do any fiberglass work. That way, when we go to put our trim back on and we reassemble this, it's already fastened down. We don't have to worry about it moving and cracking and or damaging our repair. So, all right, let's get that cleaned up. I'll make it so easy on ourselves, then we're gonna have to disconnect them up here too. We loosened up those upper ladder bolts and made that a little looser. We already have intentions on replacing this. I think we're going to cut it. Um, to get it out of our way before we begin. Where that one's all mangled. We'll smooth that off with a grinding bit on the Dremel. Five minutes later. I died right in the middle of the recording. Got that uh, cut and ground off. It's nice and smooth. And we'll get our new piece on there when it comes in. But we'll wipe this off again, get all the grinding dust off of it, and get some screws in there. Okay, so we got it wiped off and now we're going to take a couple of these flat headed screws and put them in here to fasten that down after we kind of shift that panel back into where it's supposed to be. Feel the top, make sure it's all smooth. We'll put a temporary screw in these holes too, so that it mimics when this ladder is actually attached. So, just trying to keep this clean. So that when they're ready, it's just easy. Go ahead and put the fiberglass on it. Okay, so we got that wiggled together. Let's go ahead and 
put these ladder screws back first. Alright. I think it's a good idea to have one right here. You want it flush with the fiberglass. That's the point. I think we're going to need one more of those. I have to go grab one on the tool bag. And we'll put one more up here just for safe measure. Okay, so next up is we want to prepare the area to put our fiberglass on there and uh, fix it. We're going to be using this DevCon Home Fiberglass Porcelain and Plastic Repair Kit. Um, obviously, the first step says to clean and sand it. Uh, this is a white or almond color kit. We're going to add just portions of the almond. Uh, dye that comes with it to color the fiberglass to try to match the camper because I don't know if you can tell from the video but our camper is a slightly off-white so we're going to our best of our ability we're going to try to uh, match it this does come with a piece of fiberglass cloth I don't think we're going to be using it uh, I'm just going to try to sand the crack and do like a little bit of a V-shape and fill it in with just the fiberglass resin. So, let's get started. I gave you some sandpaper. barely over that sealant there. I don't really know if I can get that off. And we'll just cover that with some more sealant. We are going just about a half inch on each side wider than uh, the crack, so it has a surface area to stick to. Well, we've only sanded it and it already looks pretty good. So to use the dye, take the clear package, well, the clear and the white. And we will actually squeeze until the seam bursts in the center. And there it goes. Get all that down in there. And then we will mix this for one minute. And then we will add the dye to it. pretty mixed up to me. Okay. So the instructions are to add this whole thing. I'm not sure that we need to use this whole thing. Okay. 
bleeding out really, so I guess I'll just do it like this. That looks pretty close to the camp roof, but ain't the same. Trying to reinforce some of this stuff here. So, time will tell as it sets up. Obviously, it's not 100% the same color. I took some of the extra stuff and just put it along the edges to uh, help reinforce it. Can't hurt, right? Ain't gonna see none of it. But that looks better than it did before. Get most of this back together and then we're just waiting on that piece, which I'll make a video for that too. So because we have this pulled back, and I don't think we're gonna have it back well, we're gonna seal it. Until the drum comes down. So I forgot to take a video when I was putting that trim back on, but there it is. I think it looks pretty good for something that was smacked off of a concrete post. You can still see some of the yellow paint in there. I have to find a way to get some of that stuff off. I'd like to buy a new piece of this rubber too and replace a section of it. But I'm gonna put some black silicone on that just threw some clear stuff on it for now to you know keep water up but yeah there we go